Hi everyone, so this is a video on sentiment analysis using Rapid Miner. We know that sentiment analysis is to detect sentiment in text using classification model trained on categorized user reviews. So I got uh, two data set here. I got movie review here where it has like 200 something of data. And in this data, I have a class uh, label here that is positive or negative and uh, the text or we can say that the review of uh, the movie and then I got another data set that is example set um, with 45 data so this is uh, the set where I am going to validate my uh, sentiment analysis model whether the predicted class here is correct, whether it is positive or negative um, prediction is correct. Now, um, to start the process in Rapid Miner, you have to click on Empty Process here. And then, if you take a look at the uh, Rapid Miner Studio here, uh, you got a lot of templates that you can choose from. Um, you already have the sentiment analysis template, so click on it. And once you have clicked on it, you can see uh, the template is using has historical sentiment review, right? Um, you can take a look at the data under the same sample folder here. Under sentiment analysis, double click on historical sentiment and it is um, similarly to my, it is quite similar to my um, data set. Um, but then I would like to use my own data. So what I have to do is I need to change the repository entry here. Um, and then uh, choose my data. If you haven't import your data, you have to import them into the local repository first. Yeah. So click on movie, uh, my data set here. OK, click on OK. And then click on set row. And I have to change the attribute name into class. Since um, my, my data here, okay, the class label or the class attribute is called class instead of sentiment. And then um, click on nominal to text, just leave it as it is. So this is for us to uh, change the type of selected nominal attribute to text. And then click on process document from data. Choose TFIDF, right? Um, and then if you double click on this operator, you have uh, another operator inside it that are tokenized, transform cases and also filter stop with. And then um, this, this is the first step uh, or the first phase where you are going to deliver a word vector. It is a numerical representation of the text. Then we are going to start um, building our model where I am going to use a SVM model and validate it to collect the performance data. So I have to use a op operator of cross validation here. When I double click on it, this is where I am going to put my uh, model operator. So I use SVM. If you would like to change uh, to another operator, you can change it into modeling, predictive and choose any other um, suitable operator, for example, naive based suitable model. And then um, this is apply model where you are going to apply the model and this is a performance um, operator where you are going to take a look at the accuracy. And then in the next step, that is step three, uh, if um, in the given template, um, Step three is uh, where you are going to create a new document from text where you are going to add your own text and try and then you are going to take a look at uh, the model, how the model deal with the document and what are the polarity, whether it is positive or negative based on the document. But then what I want, it, what I want to do now is I would like to input my own uh, document here, my own data set that is example set here. Instead of being a document, it is a data. So instead of using the create document, 
if you take a look at if you double click at create document here right um it's supposed to be you can see uh it can be edited but then it is it does not work with my um rapid miner here you can try on it okay um i would like to use read excel operator because my data set is in excel so i have to remove this um okay and then process document operator here need to be changed as well because my my doc my data here is uh my excel here is a data instead of document so here i am going to use document from data operator so i will remove this okay um and then uh, the word vector here need to be linked to here but then um, please don't forget all of the process in here doing the word vector here must be in here as well so that you can get the, the same word vector and then uh, connect all of them and then um, connect out to example here but then you you will have error since you don't have any file yet right and then um, what you have to do next is to you you need to read the file okay so my file is that example set in desktop i store it in desktop and this is the file next click on next until you are finished okay and then if you cursor to XR here, example here, right, you can see the details. Okay, this is the detail. Just now it is not uh, having anything, right? And then uh, connect XR here to here. Right, and then um, choose number of four, still 10, and then run the process. It will take um, some time because um, it is doing tenfold of cross validation. Please, please be aware that if you are having a lot of data, for example, you have one thousand of data, two thousand or ten thousand of data, it's going to be um, so long. I I have um, three my data to two hundred. Right. See, um, this is the result of my prediction so the class given in my uh, original data set here okay is this one but then the predicted class is this one okay so for example the the original class is negative but then the predictive the predicted class based on the model is positive so if i take a look at the performance vector my uh, model is um, doing quite good that is 70.89 percent accuracy of accuracy uh, this is based on my training and testing set right so in here these are all of the prediction so you can um, plot the chart here Right, so if I take a look at my uh, prediction, all of the uh, predicted data is positive. Right, um, sometimes this is depends on your modeling. So if you got a lot of data, possibly your model could be better. Okay, so um, that's that. That is it. Um, if you like to see the original class, so this is the original class where 22 of them are uh, negative and another 22 is positive. But then in prediction, all of them is being predicted as positive, right? So thank you. Bye.